so ball right now look like a cute like a drag queen hey babes what are you doing you can't come in here like that and just take over a girl's channel talking about hey babes welcome back to my channel babes welcome back it's your girl chanel morris here and if you're new to my channel don't forget to press that subscribe button down below in this video i'll be showing you from start to finish on how i laid this bob so it's summer spring well it's spring and summer is right around the corner and i love myself a good bob throughout the summer if you do too let's get into this video i got this bob from icy hair this wig <laughs> it's not a bob it's a wig i got it in the 16 inch it's 180 density and it's a 13 by 6 frontal it's straight hair and it was pre-plucked with minimal shedding they did send the wig with a pair of lashes and also the wig cap i did end up using the wig cap in this video and for the lashes i'll test those out another time okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to straighten this hair and i'm gonna use the comb through method mostly <laughs> but i'm going to part the hair in half just to make sure i'm getting all those middle sections and making sure everything is bone straight blue you gotta make sure it is straight so you get a more blunt cut and a straight cut not no jaggedy edges now i'm gonna use my nairobi foaming lotion just to make that center part so the foaming lotion is just to kind of make the more the hair a little bit more heavy so it's easier to part you can also use water as well but i just choose a foaming lotion because i didn't want to get the entire hair wet and then it goes into any waves or anything like that make sure your center part is dead center so try the wig on first if you need to just to kind of find the center for your head type now i'm going to part the hair in three sections so this section at the front it's gonna be a little bit thinner than the section at the back because this is basically where the frontal kind of like stops at the front because this part of the the wig is a little bit thinner so i'm just gonna part the back as well into two sections so basically a half up half down then i'm gonna go in with my straightening iron just to make sure it is straight okay keyword straight now let's start the cutting process so i'm i know my length that i want on my mannequin head but if you don't you can always just put the wig on your head and measure where you want your bob to lay and then clip it and put it back on the mannequin head and now i'm just doing the other half of that section and i'm making sure it's just a little bit thinner because when the hair is thinner the easier it is to kind of like get that straight cut just to make sure the cut isn't like jagged or like lopsided or whatever i'm just making the section a little bit thinner than the bottom part and i'm also cutting the top a little bit longer than how i cut the bottom just to kind of like correct any mistakes that i've made if i've cut the bottom too short it's easy for me to correct it if the top is longer now i'm gonna put it back in the half up half down and i'm going to do some clean up let's clean up those bottoms let's get rid of those stragglers and then do some vertical scissor cut and the vertical scissor cut it basically thins the bottom of the hair so i'm not going too high with my scissors and i'm making sure i'm combing the hair through just to get those hair out that i just cut 
very important make sure you <laughs> comb the hair out after doing those vertical scissor cut and now I'm just gonna clean up the other half of that section that I part and get rid of this little flyaway thing that's right here it is not needed bye and just clean up any other stragglers that you have left on the top half and that looks good now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna make sure that everything is good and do more vertical scissor cut and thin out the bottom part of the hair again and I'm just doing it very lightly because this is just a top half section and I don't want it to be like too thin and stuff you know so definitely like take your time and do this and just make sure that like everything is how you want it and make sure you're combing that out like it's very important to comb it out now i'm going to go through and i'm going to straighten it because i'm cutting and i'm styling at the same time i don't want to go through and have to like style it all over again so that's why i'm just like making sure everything is good and that's good let's move to the next section so these front sections like all right there it's like you know a little bit wavy i'm gonna go through again and i'm gonna straighten that and i'm definitely using the comb through method on the front half of this hair because i need this to be really straight therefore i don't get it shorter or longer than the back i want it to be kind of even you know what i mean so i'm just gonna pin this up a little bit at the front and i'm doing the front in way thinner sections than i did the back because it's like i said it's easy way easier to cut the thinner the hair is so don't be scared and i kind of like cut this a little bit longer than the back so it's easy to correct and i have a better vision of like the length to go even all the way around the hair so let's do the other section and you're gonna repeat and i'm just gonna do some more vertical scissor cut just to thin that little part that is like dividing from the frontal and the actual like sewn in tracks so that's why i kind of like move that part from the front because the front part is already thin i don't need to thin that out and just go through exactly the same process and do the exact same thing and you can definitely take your time because this video is sped up like i'm not going that fast in real life and there you have it now let's repeat to the next side And that is it for the cutting process okay so now I'm going to apply the wig that I just cut and styled on my head for this wig I actually didn't experience a lot of shedding it's been good so far so I already applied the cap that they gave me I applied it to my head and I also applied my Fenty Beauty um, contour matte stick and it's in the shade espresso it's the same shade I use to contour my face so I just apply it to basically the front of this cap and now I'm going to cut the lace off the back of the wig there and it's gone so therefore I won't be seeing anything back there I did not bleach the knots of this wig just because I just want it to be like an everyday go out wig kind of thing and I really don't want to bleach the knots and then you know 
I have to change it really soon. All I'm going to do is take my matchstick and my, this is my wig brush. I call it my wig brush. Yes, I have a wig brush. I don't use this brush on my face. I just use it to judge my wigs. I don't want to see this lace. Okay. So this is what it is. And for the rest on the top, I'm just going to use reapply after I apply my wig. I'm gonna zhuzh it up. So I ended up putting tightening the wig to the tightest part adjusting it to the tightest part on here so it's really tight on my head and now I'm just going to put it on just to see how it is you can tell it is tight and everything and it makes such a big difference when you apply that contour powder to the inner part of the wig and also i also applied it to my actual wig cap so it's on my wig cap and it's inside the wig so everything is one color yeah i am super pleased on how i cut this wig like uh, new wig who this you know <laughs> And I'm just going to pull that back. So now I am going to take my Gots to Be spray. So I'm just going to see that kind of know there and peel this back a little bit. And then I'm just going to apply the spray. So now I'm going to just peel this back and make sure everything is in front off. See the little thing, the little cap was showing underneath just now. So I just pull everything in front and then make sure everything is in front. I'm going to tie it down with this band. So this band, I actually just like cut it off of a roll and it's a long enough one where I can cut it and just tie it on the back and it's really flexible and stretchy so it's easy to like manipulate and just like tie in the back so I'm making sure everything is nice and tight I look weird right now, but it's okay. I'm gonna look cute afterwards. But yeah, so after I tie this down, I let it sit for a little bit. I just wanna know if you use got to be spray. So if you use this spray and you buy it off Amazon, do you realize Amazon is tripping on these prices? Like one of these bottles, I think I saw it on there for up to like 20, 30 bucks or something. I'm like, what? You guys need to calm down. You can get, you know what I did? I went into Walmart and they were actually sold out in one of the Walmart that I went to. And then I went into another Walmart. And when I went to another Walmart, it was there was only three of them. And it was $4, like $4.50 or something along those lines. Like it wasn't past $5 for one. And Amazon is selling it on their website for like $20, $30. Calm down on the prices. I don't know what's going on because they never used to be that much. They used to be like that price, really cheap on Amazon, and now they're super expensive. But side note, go to Walmart and get it for your $5. Don't go on Amazon and pay triple, quadruple the price because that's insane for one bottle. And I, may, I bought two. Out of the three, I bought two. I left one for someone else just in case that lucky person is like needing one. Okay, so now it's time to take this off. I left it on there for about like 
10 minutes or so. I'm gonna have to re-straighten this because it's gonna get a little bit messy. But there, as you can see, everything is there. It's stuck, it's stuck. Okay, now I'm going to just use my mousse, the Nairobi mousse. I'm gonna use this mousse and then I'm just gonna kind of brush this back a little bit so there are no little flyaways or anything. Now it's time to cut the lace off. So to cut the lace off, I'm going to just cut here make a good little three little split so it's easier and then sometimes I cut this just to be just to be extra I cut this part another time sometimes so to start out, I'm going to start right here. I'm going to leave this part and I'm going to start right here. So I'm going to make little zigzags, right? And I love these little scissors just because like, it honestly gets right in there. Like, I don't use the little eyebrow hair peel peeler <laughs> no the little eyebrow trimmer the blade thing just because like this these little things it gets in there So this is the front. It's gonna lift a little bit. Okay, let me come like this. It's gonna lift a little bit right there. And that's okay. We're gonna fix that. There's a little flaw that I forgot. We're gonna fix that. So next, it's just gonna be the ear tabs, right? I'm pulling my ears out just so I know, okay, that's where I need to cut. And I'm gonna lift it up. That's okay if it just comes out a little bit, that's fine. So this is my ears. I'm gonna make sure when I'm cutting, line the scissors up to the corner of where my ear is. And some people have such a difficult time doing this. So see, the line is like literally straight on to where my wig is. So now, all I gotta do is just like pull a girl's ear out. See the fob is back there. This is exactly what I want. So it's like boom, you know? And then this back here, I can just cut that off. Done like dinner and of course you're gonna have a little bit of hair coming out just because I just cut some so now all I have to do is continue with that zigzag motion I'm gonna do it to the other side and here is a little bit white just because I did spray the got to be sprayed to lay down the wig so it's gonna be a little bit white right now So now I am going to use, I've started to use this product. Usually 
I go in back with my got to be spray and spray it down and tie it down but with this product I actually love it so I had this in my cupboard for a while so we're bringing it back bringing the old school back so I'm gonna use the spritz using the spritz mega hold by Fantasia so you can get this in your beauty supply store and I like it I love spraying it on top so what all I'm gonna do is like leave that in place and I'm just gonna spray it on the top make sure it's getting in there And I'm going back in with this band and I'm just gonna tie it down so now I'm gonna just take it off I waited around like 10 minutes or so and as you can tell everything is down down okay so now I'm going to take a little cotton pad and I'm gonna drench it like I'm gonna soak it with water and I'm just gonna wipe the edges that are white and out I'm going to use this little handy brush this is my like baby hair brush <laughs> like what's that word? that's my baby hairbrush and it has a little t comb part on one side so that's what i'm gonna use to comb out that kind of stiff looking sticky part a little while just using the spritz and to lay my entire wig I did it for like a good little bit because I didn't have any got to be sprayed and it it stayed but it didn't stay long like there wasn't a strong of a hold like the got to be spray so that's why I kind of use both just to have the stronghold underneath but have that little hold on the top to kind of lay the front of it so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna spray a little bit in my hand and that's what i'm gonna use to like brush this back a little bit okay so now i'm just gonna go in with my hot comb and i'm just gonna lay that top down a little bit so it's flat and i'm just gonna straighten it just a little bit more Thank you babes for tuning in to another video. I hope you like this bob as much as I do. Like this a slap way. Okay? I love it. The cut, everything. I think I did a fantastic job. If you think so, let me know in the comments. But Thank you for going through and slaying this bob with me. If you're not a part of my family as yet, press that subscribe button, press that like button, and press that share button if you know someone who wants to rock a new bob for the summer. And I see hair is given, okay? Because I like this hair. It's actually, it's, it's 
nice. It's nice. You need it in your life. You know I say my love or no? So I will link everything in the description box down below. Don't forget to press the bell button for a notification on my next video, boo. Bye. I will see you in the next one.